A Death in the Desert by Robert Browning, 1816 to 1889, published in 1864, read for LibriVox.org. A Death in the Desert. Supposed of Pamphilix the Antiochene. It is a parchment of my rolls the fifth hath three skins glued together is all greek and goeth from ypsilon down to me lies second in the surnamed chosen chest stained and conserved with juice of terebinth covered with cloth of hair and lettered to see from xanthus my wife's uncle now at peace me and ypsilon stand for my own name i may not write it but i make her cross to show i wait his coming with the rest and leave off here beginneth pamphilax i said if i should wet his lips with wine and slip the broadest plantain leaf we find or else the lappet of a linen robe into the water vessel lay it right and cool his forehead just above the eyes the while a brother kneeling either side should chafe each hand and try to make it warm he is not so far gone but he might speak this did not happen in the outer cave nor in the secret chamber of the rock where sixty days since the decree was cut we had him bedded on a camel skin and waited for his dying all the while but in the midmost grotto since noon's light reached there a little and we would not lose the last of what might happen on his face i at the head and xanthus at the feet with valens and the boy had lifted him and brought him from the chamber in the depths and laid him in the light where we might see for certain smiles began about his mouth and his lids moved presageful of the end beyond and halfway up the mouth of the cave the bactrian convert having his desire kept watch and made pretense to graze a goat that gave us milk on rags of various herb plantain and keech the rock's shade keeps alive so that if any thief or soldier passed because the persecution was aware yielding the goat up promptly with his life such man might pass on joyful at a prize nor care to pry into the cool o the cave outside was all noon and the burning blue here is wine answered xanthus drop to drop i stooped and placed the lap of cloth aright then chafed his right hand and the boy his left but valens had bethought him and produced and broke a ball of nard and made perfume only he did not so much wake as turn and smile a little as a sleeper does if any dear one call him touch his face and smiles and loves but will not be disturbed then xanthus said a prayer but still he slept it is the xanthus that escaped to rome was burned and could not write the chronicle then the boy sprang up from his knees and ran stung by the splendor of a sudden thought and fetched the seventh plate of graven lead out of a secret chamber found a place pressing his finger on the deeper dents and spoke as twere his mouth proclaiming first i am the resurrection and the life whereat he opened his eyes wide at once and sat up himself and looked at us and thenceforth nobody pronounced a word only outside the bactrian cried his cry like the lone desert bird that wears the rough as signal we were safe from time to time first he said if a friend declared to me this my son valens this my other son were james and peter nay declared as well this lad was very john i could believe could for a moment doubtlessly believe so is myself withdrawn into my depths 
the soul retreated from the perished brain whence it was wont to feel and use the world through these dull members done with long ago yet i myself remain i feel myself and there is nothing lost let be a while this is the doctrine he was wont to teach how diverse persons witness in each man three souls which make up one soul first to wit a soul of each and all the bodily parts seated therein which works and is what does and has the use of earth and ends the man downward but tending upward for advice grows into and again is grown into by the next soul which seated in the brain useth the first with its collected use and feeleth thinketh willeth is what knows which duly tending upward in its turn grows into and again is grown into by the last soul that uses both the first subsisting whether they assist or no and constituting man's self is what is and leans upon the former makes it play as that played off the first and tending up holds is upheld by god and ends the man upward in that dread point of intercourse nor needs a place for it returns to him what does what knows what is three souls one man i give the glossa as theatopas and then a stick once fire from end to end now ashes save the tip that holds a spark yet blow the spark it runs back spreads itself a little where the fire was thus i urged the soul that served me till it task once more what ashes of my brain have kept their shape and these make effort to the last of the flesh trying to taste again the truth of things he smiled their very superficial truth as that ye are my sons that it is long since james and peter had released by death and i am only he your brother john who saw and heard and could remember all remember all it is not much to say what if the truth broke on me from above as once and oft times such might happen again doubtlessly he might stand in presence here his head wool white eyes flame and feet like brass the sword and the seven stars as i have seen i who now shudder only and surmise how did your brother bear that sight and live if i live yet it is for good more love through me to men be not but ashes here that keep a while my semblance who was john still when they scatter there is left on earth no one alive who knew consider this saw with his own eyes and handled with his hands that which was from the first the word of life how will it be when none more saith i saw such ever was love's way to rise it stoops since i whom christ's mouth taught was bidden teach i went for many years about the world saying it was so so i heard and saw speaking as the case asked and men believed afterward came the message to myself in patmos isle i was not bidden teach but simply listen take a book and write nor set down other than the given word with nothing left to my arbitrament to choose or change i wrote and men believed then for my time grew brief no message more no call to write again i found a way and reasoning from my knowledge merely taught men should for love's sake in love's strength believe or i would pen a letter to a friend and urge the same as friend nor less nor more friend said i reasoned rightly and believed 
but at last why i seemed left alive like a sea jolly weak on patmos strand to tell dry sea beach gazers how i fared when there was a mid sea and the mighty things left to repeat i saw i heard i knew and go all over the old ground again with antichrist already in the world and many antichrists who answered prompt am i not jasper as thyself art john nay young whereas through age thou mayest forget wherefore explain or how shall we believe i never thought to call down fire on such or as in wonderful and early days pick up the scorpion tread the serpent dumb but patient stated much of the lord's life forgotten or misdelivered and let it work since much that at the first in deed and word lay simply and sufficiently exposed had grown or else my soul was grown to match fed through such years familiar with such light guarded and guided still to see and speak of new significance and fresh result what first were guessed as points i now knew stars and name them in the gospel i have read for men said it is getting long ago where is the promise of his coming asked these young ones in their strength as loth to wait of me who when their sires were born was old i for i loved them answered joyfully since i was there and helpful in my age and in the main i think such men believed finally thus endeavoring i fell sick ye brought me here and i supposed the end and went to sleep with one thought that at least though the whole earth should lie in wickedness we had the truth might leave the rest to god yet now i wake in such decrepitude as i had slidden down and fallen afar past even the presence of my former self grasping the while for stay at facts which snap till i am found away from my own world feeling for a foothold through a blank profound along with unborn people in strange lands who say i hear said or conceive they say was john at all and did he say he saw assure us here we ask what we might see and how shall i assure them can they share they who have flesh a veil of youth and strength about each spirit that needs must bide its time living and learning still as years assist which wear the thickness thin and let man see with me who hardly am withheld at all but shudderingly scarce a shred between lie bare to the universal prick of light is it for nothing we grow old and weak we whom god loves when pain ends gain ends too to me that story ay that life and death of which i wrote it was to me it is is here and now i apprehend not else is not god now in the world his power first made is not his love at issue still with sin visibly when a wrong is done on earth love wrong and pain what see i else around yea in the resurrection and uprise to the right hand of the throne what is it beside when such truth breaking bounds or floods my soul and as i saw the sin and death even so see i the need yet transiency of both the good and glory consummated thence i saw the power i see the love once weak resume the power and in this word i see lo there is recognized the spirit of both that moving or the spirit of man unblinds his eye and bids him look these are i see but ye the children his beloved ones too ye need as i should use an optic glass i wondered at erewhile 
somewhere in the world it had been given a crafty smith to make a tube he turned on objects brought too close lying confusedly insubordinate for the unassisted eye to master once look through his tube at distance now they lay become succinct distinct so small so clear just thus he needs must apprehend what truth i see reduced to plain historic fact diminished into clearness proved a point and far away ye would withdraw your sense from out eternity strain it upon time then stand before that fact that life and death stay there at gaze till it dispart dispread as though a star should open out all sides grow the world on you as it is my world for life with all it yields of love and woe and hope and fear believed the aged friend is just our chance o oh, the prize of learning love how love might be hath been indeed and is and that we hold thenceforth to the uttermost such prize despite the envy of the world and having gained truth keep truth that is all but see the double way wherein we are led how the soul learns diversely from the flesh with flesh that hath so little time to stay and yields mere basement for the soul's emprise expect prompt teaching helpful was the light and warmth was cherishing and food was choice to every man's flesh thousand years ago as now to yours and mine the body sprang at once to the height and stayed but the soul no since sages who this noontide meditate in rome or athens may descry some point of the eternal power hid yester eve and as thereby the power's whole mass extends so much extends the ether floating o'er the love that tops the might the christ in god then as new lessons shall be learned in these till earth's workshop and useless time run out so duly daily needs provision be for keeping the soul's prowess possible building new barriers as the old decay saving us from the evasion of life's proof putting the question ever does god love and will ye hold that truth against the world ye know there needs no second proof with good gained for our flesh from any earthly source we might go freezing ages give us fire thereafter we judge fire at its full worth and guard it safe through every chance ye know that fable of prometheus and his theft how mortals gained joe's fiery flower grows old i have been used to hear the pagans on and out of mind but fire howe'er its birth here it is precious to the sophist now who laughs the myth of aeschylus to scorn as precious to those satyrs of his play who touched it in gay wonder at the thing while were it so with the soul this gift of truth once grasped were this our soul's gain safe and sure to prosper as the body's gain is wont why man's probation would conclude his earth crumble for he both reasons and decides weighs first then chooses will he give up fire for gold or purple once he knows its worth could he give christ up were his worth as plain therefore i say to test man the proofs shift nor may he grasp that fact like other fact and straightway in his life acknowledge it as say the indubitable bliss of fire sigh ye it had been easier once than now to give you answer i am left alive look at me who was present from the first ye know what things i saw 
then came a test my first befitting me who so had seen forsake the christ thou sawest transfigured him who trod the sea and brought the dead to life what should wring this from thee ye laugh and ask what wrung it even a torchlight and a noise the sudden roman faces violent hands the fear of what the jews might do just that and it is written i forsook and fled there was my trial and it ended thus ay but my soul had gained its truth could grow another year or two what little child what tender woman that had seen no least of all my sights but barely heard them told who did not clasp the cross with a light laugh or wrap the burning robe round thanking god well was truth safe forever then not so already had begun the silent work whereby truth deadened of its absolute blaze might need love's eye to pierce the o'erstretched doubt teachers were busy whispering all is true as the aged ones report but youth can reach where ages gropes dimly weak with stir and strain and the full doctrine slumbers till to-day thus what the roman's lowered spear was found a bar to me who touched and handled truth now proved the glozing of some new shrewd tongue this ebion this serenthus or their mates till imminent was the outcry save our christ whereupon i stated much of the lord's life forgotten or misdelivered and let it work such work done as it will be what comes next what do i hear say or conceive men say was john at all and did he say he saw assure us ere we ask what we might see is this indeed a burden for late days and may i help to bear it with you all using my weakness which becomes your strength for if a babe were born inside this grot grew to a boy here heard us praise the sun yet had but yon glimmer in light's place one loving him and wishful he would learn would much rejoice himself was blinded first month by month here so made to understand how eyes born darkling apprehend amiss i think i could explain to such a child there was more glow outside than gleams he caught i nor need urge i saw it so believe it is a heavy burden you shall bear in latter days new lands are old grown strange left without me which must be very soon what is the doubt my brothers quick with it i see you stand conversing each new face either in fields of yellow summer eves on islets yet unnamed amid the sea or pace for shelter neath the portico out of the crowd in some enormous town where now the larks sing in a solitude or muse upon blank heaps of stone and sand idly conjectured to be ephesus and no one asks his fellow any more where is the promise of his coming but was he revealed in any of his lives as power as love as influencing soul quick for time presses tell the whole mind out and let us ask and answer and be saved my book speaks on because it cannot pass one listens quietly nor scoffs but pleads here is a tale of things done ages since what truth was ever told the second day wonders that would prove doctrine go for naught remains the doctrine love well we must love and what we love most power and love in one let us acknowledge on the record here accepting these in christ must christ then be has he been did not we ourselves make him 
our mind receives but what it holds no more first of the love then we acknowledge christ a proof we comprehend his love a proof we had such love already in ourselves knew first what else we should not recognize tis mere projection from man's inmost mind and what he loves thus falls reflected back becomes accounted somewhat out of him he throws it up in air it drops down earth's with shape name story added man's old way how prove you christ came otherwise at least next try the power he made and rules the world certes there is a world once made now ruled unless things have been ever as we see our sires declared a charioteer's yoked steeds brought the sun up the east and down the west which only of itself now rises set as if a hand impelled it and a will thus they long thought they who had will and hands but the new question's whisper is distinct wherefore must all force needs be like ourselves we have the hands the will what made and drives the sun is force is law is named not known while will and love we do know marks of these eye-witnesses attest so books declare as that to punish or reward our race the sun at undue times arose or set or else stood still what do not men affirm but earth requires as urgently reward or punishment to-day as years ago and none expects the sun will interpose therefore it was mere passion and mistake or erring zeal for right which changed the truth go back farther farther to the birth of things ever the will the intelligence the love man's which he gives supposing he but finds as late he gave head body hands and feet to help these in what forms he called his gods first jove's brow juno's eyes were swept away but jove's wrath juno's pride continued long at last will power and love discarded these so law in turn discards power love and will what proveth god is otherwise at least all else projection from the mind of man nay do not give me wine for i am strong but place my gospel where i put my hands i say that man was made to grow not stop that help he needed once and needs no more having grown but an inch by is withdrawn for he hath new needs and new helps to these this imports solely man should mount on each new height in view the help whereby he mounts the latter rung his foot has left may fall since all things suffer change save god the truth man apprehends him newly at each stage whereat earth's ladder drops its service done and nothing shall prove twice what once was proved you stick a garden plot with ordered twigs to show inside lie germs of herbs unborn and check the careless step would spoil their birth but when herbs wave the guardian twigs may go since should ye doubt of virtues question kinds it is no longer for old twigs ye look which proved once underneath lay store of seed but to the herbs self by what light ye boast for what fruits signs are this book's fruit is plain nor miracles prove it any more doth the fruit show then miracles bade wear at first of root and stem saved both till now from trampling ox rough boar and wanton goat what was man made a wheelwork to wind up and be discharged and straight wound up anew no growth its growth lasts taught he never forgets may learn a thousand things not twice the same 
this might be pagan teaching now hear mine i say that as the babe you feed a while becomes a boy and fit to feed himself so minds at first must be spoon-fed with truth when they can eat babes nurture is withdrawn i fed the babe whether it would or no i bid the boy or feed himself or starve i cried once that ye may believe in christ behold this blind man shall receive his sight i cry now urgest thou for i am shrewd and smile at stories how john's word would cure repeat that miracle and take my faith i say that miracle was duly wrought when save for it no faith was possible whether a change were wrought in the shows of the world whether the change came from our minds which see of shows or the world so much as and no more than god wills for his purpose what do i see now suppose you there where you see rock round us i know not such was the effect so faith grew making void more miracles because too much they would compel not help i say the acknowledgment of god in christ accepted by thy reason solves for thee all questions in the earth and out of it and has so far advanced thee to be wise wouldst thou unprove this to reprove the proved in life's mere minute with power to use that proof leave knowledge and revert to how it sprung thou hast it use it and forthwith or die for i say this is death and the soul death when a man's loss comes to him from his gain darkness from light from knowledge ignorance and lack of love from love made manifest a lamp's death when replete with oil it chokes a stomach's when surcharged with food it starves with ignorance was surety of a cure when man appalled at nature questioned first what if there lurk a might beyond this might he needed satisfaction god could give and did give as ye have the written word but when he finds might still redouble might yet asks since all is might what use of will will the one source of might he being man with a man's will and a man's might to teach a little how the two combine enlarge that man has turned round on himself and stands which in the course of nature is to die and when man questioned what if there be love behind the will and might as real as they he needed satisfaction god could give and did give as ye have the written word but when beholding that love everywhere he reasons since such love is everywhere and since ourselves can love and would be loved we ourselves make the love and christ was not how shall ye help this man who knows himself that he must love and would be loved again yet owning his own love that proveth christ rejecteth christ through very need of him the lamp or swims with oil the stomach flags loaded with nurture and that man's soul dies if he rejoin but this was all the while a trick the fault was first of all in thee thy story of the places names and dates where when and how the ultimate truth had rise thy prior truth at last discovered none whence now the second suffers detriment what good of giving knowledge if because o the manner of the gift its profit fail and why refuse what modicum of help had stopped the after doubt impossible in the face of tenth truth absolute uniform why must i hit of this and miss of that distinguish just as i be weak or strong 
and not ask of thee and have answer prompt was this once was it not once then and now and evermore plain truth from man to man is john's procedure just the heathen's bard put question of his famous play again how for the ephemeral sake joe's fire was filched and carried in a cane and brought to earth the fact is in the fable cry the wise mortals obtained the boon so much is fact though fire be spirit and produced on earth as with the titans so now with thy tale why breed in us perplexity mistake nor tell the whole truth in the proper words i answer have ye yet to argue out the very primal thesis plainest law man is not god but hath god's end to serve a master to obey a course to take somewhat to cast off somewhat to become grant this then man must pass from old to new from vain to real from mistake to fact for what once seemed good to what now proves best how could man have progression otherwise before the point was mooted what is god no savage man inquired what am myself much less replied first last and best of things man takes that title now if he believes might can exist with neither will nor love in god's case what he names now nature's law while in himself he recognizes love no less than might and will and rightly takes since if man prove the sole existent thing where these combine whatever their degree however weak the might or will or love so they be found there put in evidence he is as surely higher in the scale than any might with neither love nor will as life apparent in the poorest midge when the faint dusk speck flits ye guess its wing is marvellous beyond dead atlas's self given to the nobler midge for resting place thus man proves best and highest god in fine and thus the victory leads but to defeat the gain to loss best rise to the worst fall his life becomes impossible which is death but if appealing thence he cower avouch he is mere man and in humility neither may know god nor mistake himself i point to the immediate consequence and say by such confession straight he falls into man's place a thing nor god nor beast made to know what he can know and not more lower than god who knows all and can all higher than beasts which know and can so far as each beast's limit perfect to an end nor conscious that they know nor craving more while man knows partly but conceives beside creeps ever on from fancies to the fact and in this striving this converting air into solid he may grasp and use finds progress man's distinctive mark alone not gods and not the beasts god is they are man partly is and wholly hopes to be such progress could no more attend his soul were all its struggles after found at first and guesses changed to knowledge absolute then motion weight his body where all else than it the solid earth on every side where now through space he moves from rest to rest man therefore thus conditioned must expect he could not what he knows now know at first what he considers that he knows today come but tomorrow he will find misknown getting increase of knowledge since he learns because he lives which is to be a man set to instruct himself by his past self first like the brute obliged by facts to learn next as man may obliged by his own mind bent habit nature knowledge turned into law 
god's gift was that man should conceive of truth and yearn to gain it catching at mistake as midway help till he reach fact indeed the statuary ere he mould a shape boasts a like gift the shape's idea and next the aspiration to produce the same so taking clay he calls his shape thereout cries ever now i have the thing i see yet all the while goes changing what was wrought from falsehood like the truth to truth itself how were it had he cried i see no face no breast no feet i the ineffectual clay rather commend him that he clapped his hands and laughed it is my shape and lives again enjoyed the falsehood touched it on to truth until yourselves applaud the flesh indeed in what is still flesh imitating play right in you right in him such way be man's god only makes the live shape at a jet will ye renounce this pact of creatureship the pattern on the mount subsists no more seen the while then return to nothingness but copies moses strove to make thereby serve still and are replaced as time requires by these make newest vessels reach the type if ye demur this judgment on your head never to reach the ultimate angel's law indulging every instinct of the soul there where law life joy impulse are one thing such is the burden of the latest time i have survived to hear it with my ears answer it with my lips does this suffice for if there be a further woe than such wherein my brothers struggling need a hand so long as any pulse is left in mine may i be absent even longer yet plucking the blind ones back from the abyss though i should tarry a new hundred years but he was dead twas about noon the day somewhat declining we five buried him that eve and then dividing went five ways and i disguised returned to ephesus by this the cave's mouth must be filled with sand valens is lost i know not of his trace the bactrian was but a wild childish man and could not write nor speak but only loved so lest the memory of this go quite seeing that i to-morrow fight the beasts i tell the same to phoebus whom believe for many look again to find that face beloved john's to whom i ministered somewhere in life about the world they err either mistaking what was darkly spoke at the ending of his book as he relates or misconceiving somewhat of his speech scattered from mouth to mouth as i suppose believe ye will not see him any more about the world with his divine regard for all was as i say and now the man lies as he lay once breast to breast with god serinthus read and mused one added this if christ as thou affirmest be of men near man the first and best but nothing more account him for reward of what he was now and forever wretchedest of all for see himself conceived of life as love conceived of love as what must enter in fill up make one with his each soul he loved thus much for man's joy all men's joy for him well he is gone thou sayest to fit reward but by this time are many souls set free and very many still retained alive nay should his coming be delayed a while say ten years longer twelve years some compute see if for every finger of thy hands there be not found that day the world shall end hundreds of souls each holding by christ's word that he will grow incorporate with all with me as pamphlets 
with him as john groom for each bride can a mere man do this yet christ saith this he lived and died to do call christ then the illimitable god or lost but twas serenthus that is lost end of poem this recording is in the public domain